Hiya, I'm Kat and in today's devotional I'll be talking about what prayer means to me. I'm going to start by sharing Matthew 6 verses 5 to 8 and in this uh, section of the book Jesus gives some good guidance as to how to pray. Verse 5 says, when you pray, don't be like hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on street corners to be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they've received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, don't keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they'll be heard because of their many words. Don't be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This passage really gives me some key principles that I do follow around how to pray um, and build a prayer life. Verse 6 reminds me that prayer is private, it's a time of intimacy, it's for me and God, it's a time where I can be really vulnerable, a time where we build our relationship together, one on one. Verse 7 encourages me that it's not about how much I say, but more about what I say. I'm encouraged to be real with God, to lay it all down. There's nothing that he will be offended by. There's nothing that I could say that will drive him away. I'm really encouraged not to babble, but to be direct. And verse 8 encourages me that the Father knows what I need when I don't even know myself. Sometimes I can't form the words or I can't decipher how my heart is really feeling, but I take comfort in the truth that he already knows. He goes ahead of me. My personal prayer practice includes embodied prayer in the form of yoga. This is where I pray with my body. My body is a wonderful, special, unique gift given from God and made in his image. My body is a vessel. I'm a conduit. I'm here for connection and union with Christ and with his creation. We are told and I know God dwells in me. I am his temple. So I connect with God in this temple. I pray without words. We communicate through my breath and my movements. I sense his responses. I hear his replies. I feel his love. It's a beautiful practice. To help my daughter on her journey into prayer and communion with God, I've made her a version of the Lord's Prayer, which is hung on her bedroom wall, and we say it together every night. I'm going to share this with you now. Our Father, the maker of heaven, how amazing you are. Your kingdom come, your plans be done on earth as they are in heaven. Give me today everything I need and please forgive me for the things that I have done wrong. I will forgive others who've wronged me. Keep me away from things that aren't good for me and Lord rescue me from evil. For where you are is good. You have all the power and you are so great. Forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for sharing this time of devotional practice with me. I encourage you to pray.
pray in a way that speaks to you and your heart and your relationship with God today. Be well, be blessed.